I think I speak for all web devs in the React TypeScript ecosystem that Chat CN is one. And unless you have your own design system or you work for a company that has its own design system, you're more than likely going to default to Chat CN UI. But now we're having a problem. Most people are saying, oh, that app looks like a Chat CN app. And they're making comparisons to Bootstrap. Like you can see a site that's used Bootstrap components and you could tell it uses Bootstrap components. But Chat CN is different. Chat CN is not a component library, it's a base foundation, it's a base layer for you to build your component library for you to customize your styles and tweak your styles and unfortunately this base layer kind of already looks good so we just default to it but i found a simple tool and a site called tweak cn that's going to help you make your chat cn apps not look like chat cn apps that look super clean you can have a minimalistic you can have them pop and funky and i'm going to show you how to set this up i have a simple next.js project where home pages go to dashboard and the dashboard button takes me to a dashboard and this dashboard is one of the blocks from ShatCN. You literally just copy that command, paste it in your terminal, and it's there. So let's use TweakCN. I'm going to click on Start Customizing, and there are tons of styles. I can actually go random here. Like, there's a bunch of random styles. Let's see if there's anyone that I like. Oh, the previous one is kind of fire, but we'll go with this one. So all I have to do to add this to my code is click Code, and then I have a command here. I'll copy this command. So if you're using npm yard bun, whatever you are, I'm using pmpm, copying that command. I just cleared my global.css file and I'm just going to paste this command in terminal and I'm going to hit, say yes. And I see some new code. I'm going to go back to my site and when I refresh, I don't even have to refresh. You see the designs applied and this looks pretty good. This looks fresh. And let's just add one more design and i can show you some other cool things we could do if let's say we go with retro arcade this looks pretty funky i'm going to do the same thing again copy the command let's just clear this out paste the command in the terminal hit yes and then if we go back to our site again we got that funky retro vibe we'd love it here so let me show you a little bit about uh tweaks in first of all you could see what it looks like dark mode light mode you can also import your own styles and save them here which was which i found pretty interesting and you can also click on generate and you can use ai to build a theme to make changes to a theme so let's say i want a minimal ghibli studio vibe I'm going to hit that. We're going to let AI generate our themes. And I'm going to even show you one step further how can you use AI to build different styles and themes. And even if you're not a designer, you can keep your apps fresh. The AI has generated for us the Studio Ghibli styles. I'm literally going to again click code and then I can save this here. I'll call it test YT and then click save. And then I'm going to copy this command right here. Clear my global.css, paste the command, hit yes, click save go back to my site and look at that see and and again here's the thing now you might be like oh mike that's ugly that's fine i'm not trying to show you what's good and what's not i'm trying to show you how you could customize it to your liking and one other thing you could do is you can go to an ai tool chat of your choice i'm going to use t3 chat here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste uh, what i already have like my global.css and be like i want to customize this global.css file to all right, and we're going to let AI cook the global.css and paste it over. By the way, while the AI cooks, if you guys are looking for some song recommendations, I highly encourage looking at Caleb Gordon. He's a fire Christian rapper, my favorite by far. Just a little just a little sidebar. So I got the global.css file. I'm going to copy, paste this, save, go to my app, and cease. All right. It doesn't look the best, but you get the gist. You can use AI to customize how your apps look and feel. Now, this is one theme I pasted myself. I, I tweaked it a little bit with AI, but I can literally copy this command. We're going to delete this monstrosity. I'm going to enter this command here, and you're going to see how fresh and good this feels like this feels nice maybe you're not a fan of the of the font but you can change that but that is pretty much it for this video ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe this is how you customize your shots and apps to look fresh and clean with almost very little effort you can even use ai to generate your own custom.global css files i'm mike you're someone who's going to subscribe if you haven't subscribed right now and i thank you so much for watching this video until the next time i will see you peace